Our solar system is mature. It has eight planets, a number of other dwarf planets like Pluto, and trillions of asteroids and comets. If we managed to travel back in time, what would we see as our solar system formed? Because we can't really travel back in time and see the solar system from outside, researchers can examine different star systems that are actively forming, along with the mix of gas and dust that enshrouds their baby stars, to learn about this process. Cosmic dust shelters forming stars, becomes part of planets, and can contain the organic compounds that lead to life as we know it. Humans are here thanks to dust. Researchers led by Dr. Thomas Henning of the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy in Heidelberg, Germany, will make use of NASA's upcoming James Webb Space Telescope to study more than 50 planet-forming disks in numerous levels of growth to find out which molecules are current and ideally pinpoint similarities, helping to shape our thinking about how solar systems come to be. The research will particularly focus on the inner disks of relatively nearby baby star systems. Earlier telescopes have already detailed these regions, but none match web sensitivity, which means many more details will pour in for the first time. What's more interesting is that Webb will have an unobstructed view of its targets due to its location about 1 million miles, 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. The team of researchers will primarily gather data in the form of spectra. A spectrum is a rainbow. This rainbow is created when a beam of white light is broken into its component colors, such as with a prism. The colors formed are ordered according to their wavelength. When scientists look at this rainbow, they examine how intense the light is in each color, thus revealing high-resolution information about the temperatures, speeds, and compositions of the gas and dust. This extremely wealthy data will enable the researchers to assemble much more detailed models of what's current in the inside disks and the location. If you apply a model to these spectra, you can find out where molecules are located and what their temperatures are, the researchers explain. These examinations can be extremely worthwhile in helping the researchers pinpoint similarities and variations amongst these planet-forming disks, also known as protoplanetary disks. Spectroscopy can teach us way more than imaging one spectrum is worth a thousand images. Scientists have long examined protoplanetary disks in a range of wavelengths of light, from radio to near-infrared. Some of the data come from the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, ALMA, in Chile, which collects radio lights. ALMA is extremely proficient at establishing pictures of the outer disks. But Webb's data will complete the picture by helping researchers model the inner disks. NASA's retired Spitzer Space Telescope has already brought data about these inner disks, but Webb's sensitivity and resolution will identify the precise quantities of each molecule, as well as the elemental compositions of the gas with its data, known as spectra. What used to be a very blurry peak in the spectrum will consist of hundreds, if not thousands, of detailed spectral lines, explain researchers. Webb's specialty in mid-infrared light is essential. It will allow scientists to identify the fingerprints of molecules like water, carbon dioxide, methane, and ammonia, which can't be recognized with any other existing instruments. The upcoming telescope can even determine how starlight impacts the chemistry and physical structures of the disks. Protoplanetary disks are complicated systems. As they take shape, the gas and dust are distributed into rings throughout the system. Their materials migrate from the outer disk to the inner disk. 
jet spewed by the star result in a mixing of elements in the inner and outer disks, each by sending out particles, allowing different particles to move inward. These movements will, without a doubt, impact the chemistry of the inner disk, which researchers are eager to explore with the Webb telescope. PDS-70 star system is about 370 light years away, which is relatively farther. The system has a large gap in its inner ring, plus there are two protoplanets gathering material. Webb's mid-infrared measurements will help the researchers refine what we know about them, as well as the material around them. Then, the team will apply the discrete data points to models, which will allow them to do a graphic reconstruction of these systems. Other scientists will be able to examine the data and make their own projections or bring new findings. The James Webb Space Telescope will be the world's premier space science observatory when it launches in 2021. It will solve mysteries in our solar system, observe distant worlds around other stars, and examine the mysterious structures and origins of our universe and our place in it. Thank you.